What's good, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Look what finally arrived. We have the one-third scale bison by PCS, Street Fighter statue. Finally, man, after I think a year or so delay, we finally have it. So I'm very excited to finally get this. Uh, I'm actually in transit to my new house. I'm at my mom's crib, so I uh, had to get it shipped here. And uh, very excited, man. Now we take a look here at the art box. It is very impressive, very vibrant. Uh, this is the Street Fighter V version, uh, which is limited to 125. Uh, it just has that burgundy red. Very nice. Uh, we do have some switch out features and everything we'll take a look at. Uh, but looking real good so far. Very nice art print on the box. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. All right, man. So here we are uh, with the lid off. Uh, everything is looking good. Packaged very nice. Nothing looks like it's broken. Uh, so uh, hopefully that's the case. Nothing is broken. Uh, so we have uh, the two head scopes. We got the base here. We got the power up effect, shoulder pads, extra hand. Yeah, we looking good. All right, so here we are with the base. Uh, looks like we have the what? The Guardians, I believe that's what they're called. We have the Guardians here on the corners. Now the difference right here, I do have the Sagat statue as well. Uh, base is very similar. The difference is the Sagat statue, the Guardians actually magnetized onto the corners. These actually come already attached. So that's the difference there. And also it has this green around the edges. But everything else seems to be very similar. Now you can see that we have the peg here as well as a port because we do have a light up feature for this statue, uh, which I'm very excited about. And that's the one good thing that PCS does is that they actually use plug ports as opposed to batteries. So very excited about that. Now this is number 16 out of 125. Very nice uh, addition size. All right, and then here we have Bison on the statue. Now so far, this is everything uh, attached. I haven't attached anything to the statue yet. This is how he comes out of the box. So looking real good. Now this is mixed media as far as his outfit. Everything else is polystone. So looking real nice, man, from the belt boots uh, his um, his shin guards wrists everything else is uh, poly uh, polystone so I'm really loving that man now I'm not really a fan of mixed media but when it's done right you know I ain't. I'm with it and uh, and they seem to have done this correctly so I'm really loving it uh, not really sure what the delay was why they delayed it so so much but uh, it's here and it seems like whatever they had to do to it, they did the right thing to it, man, because it's looking good and it's very impressive. Loving it. All right, so here we are with the other hand attached. Now, you can use this hand. It does have a switch out, so you can use the basic hand by itself, or you can use the hand with the light-up feature. Me, ain't no doubt in my mind, definitely using the light-up feature. Now here it is looking amazing. The translucent resin is done very nice from the dark shade of purple to the light shades of purple to the clear white looking. Man, it, it just looks so, so, so good. They did an excellent job with this. And thank God this did not come broken at all. Looks very nice, loving it so far. All right, and then here we are with the shoulder pads. Now, the shoulder pads are magnetized. So all you have to do is basically just plop them on right here to the shoulders, find that magnet, and it has a pretty strong magnet, so uh, I'm liking it. I don't, I don't see it really falling off or anything like that. Uh, I do think that this was probably the best way to go about applying these because it just seems like any other way, you would have to either remove something or just do something weird to the statue. So honestly, I think that this was the best way. But here we are with the head scope, man. The head scope is looking amazing. I mean, the paint job is looking nice. His cover looks good. His hair looks good, the textures. 
Uh, you can see right here we got the port where we're gonna plug it in uh, to get the, the eyes to light up. And it looking real good, man. Got the booty chin going. Yeah, very nice, man. Strong jawline. Now the thing about this is you do have to take off the shoulder pads in order to put the head scope on. Reason being is because, like I said before, it's magnetized. And you don't want to knock the shoulder pads off trying to put the head scope on. Because you have to kind of work the uh, material around his neck. So you don't want to take the chance and, uh, and mess up and knock those shoulder pads off. But I'm loving it, man. It's looking real good uh, so far. Everything is uh, spot on. Loving it. Now let's go ahead and check out the light up feature. All right, man, now here we are with the eyes lit up, the power up lit up. Everything is looking good, man. Eyes look amazing. This is so impressive, man, so impressive. I'm loving this, man. The, the light up feature definitely makes a difference. Now the statue looks good by itself, it really does. Uh, we cut the lights off here. Uh, my mom has a lot of light that comes through her window, so don't make a huge difference, but you can see it a little bit, a little better. But it looks real good, man, with the light up feature. Man, this is nice. Yeah, this is very impressive, man. I'm, I'm loving this, man. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other head scope. Now here we are with the grinning smile. Looks real good. The textures, everything else is there. Everything else is looking nice. Man, it looks so good. Man, it looks so good. I don't know which, which head scope I'm going to use. Um, I guess it kind of depends on how high, high I pair them with Sagat. Uh, but, man, they, they just look so nice. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so here it is uh, on the body. Uh, looks real good. Man, it's very impressive. I'm loving it, man. This this is so fire, man. Like, y'all don't know how excited I am to see this statue right now. I mean, I just think they did such an amazing job. So here it is, man, looking real good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the light up feature on it. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. It looks nice, man. I'm not really sure what hair scope I'm going to use, man, but I feel like you can't go wrong with either one, either one of these hair scopes. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a win you know however you choose to display it this statue is definitely a win uh, as far as I'm concerned very impressed by this statue yo man and then here we are right here if you wanted to go with just the light up eyes and not have the power up that's cool I mean you could you could choose that option I don't know why you would because it just adds so much extra to the statue with the uh, with the power up feature so, um, but, it's, but hey, but at the end of the day, choices are yours. I'm glad that they give us options. And, uh, and I'm very excited about this statue, man. But anyway, just let me know what you guys think about the statue in the comments below. I will also be leaving the link in the description. So feel free to click on that. It does help me out. Also, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also click that notification bell. Also, I will be adding gaming to the channel. I will be gaming on the Steam Deck. So if you guys are interested in that content, make sure you stay tuned in. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.